Hi guys, I have a new video for you. Today I'm going to show you the setup interface for the TP-Link RE350 range extender. So this is uh, a pretty new device. It is a, a wireless AC1200 device and you can plug it uh, directly in your uh, power plug and uh, connect it uh, wirelessly connect to it uh, wirelessly or th uh, through a gigabit ethernet cable because it also has a, a gigabit ethernet port so this is the interface you can get to it uh, to using uh, the IP if you know it or by punching uh, this uh, this domain right here tp-link repeater.net okay so I'm going to log in so admin admin okay a it's asking me to create a new username but I don't want to do that so I'm leaving admin and the same password as before because this is just for demo and confirm Okay, so right now it is scanning for wireless networks. It uh, it does this uh, automatically when it enters the quick setup mode. Okay, so these are the available networks right now for the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. I'm going to use uh, this one and the password and next and these are the 5.0 gigahertz uh, available networks next So these are the names for the the extended networks. You can use the same name as the original network or you can uh, change it if you want to. Also you can hide the SSID broadcast. Next. And we're good to go. So this is the, the summary. So I, I have the router with the dual band router, the range extender, the dual band range extender and the extended uh, networks. So the router, these are the two wireless networks and the range extender with the two extended wireless networks. And now we can click finish. It has to reboot to, to apply the the settings I made as you can see Okay, so it should be ready. Let's try this. Yeah, it's ready. So, the status. Here are the clients, the range extender with the two available wireless networks, the, the extended wireless networks, the router with the two available wireless networks and the internet. So, Everything looks good here. 
and here as well. Wireless. So, uh, these are the more advanced settings. Uh, as you can see, it is set to to connect to both uh, 2.4 and 5.0 gigahertz networks. And it is it is also set to to extend to both networks. Next, the uh, network. So I'm obtaining the IP address automatically and uh, the HCP server is set to, to auto because uh, this little device also has uh, a DHCP server but you can use the, the one integrated in your router so you, you don't really need this, this uh, option right here There's no client in the DHCP client list because uh, I'm using the router's DHCP server. And um, the Ethernet port is uh, is set to 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 use the, the five gigahertz uh, band. So, if you are uh, connecting a laptop computer or a desktop computer to this uh, range extender's uh, eth uh, Ethernet port, you can uh, choose to use the 5 GHz or the 2.4 GHz uh, network between the range extender and the router. Next, advanced settings. So you can, as you can see, you can set a power schedule. So maybe you don't, you don't need your range extender to to work 24/7. Uh, the Wi-Fi wi coverage. So I if you think the coverage is too too large, too too high, you can uh, lower it. Right here. There's also access control. So there are blacklist and whitelist. And you can you can add devices in the blacklist. Okay. I'm going to disable this because I don't don't need it. And next, system tools, time settings. Okay, and save. There's also LED control. So you can set the night mode between specific hours so that uh, the light from the uh, from the range extender uh, won't bother you also there's the firmware upgrade tool and this uh, doesn't provide an online upgrade so you'll need to manually download the file browse for it and then click upgrade the backup and restore section where you can um, save save a file with your settings you can restore settings from a previously saved file or you can factory restore the device next there's the admin account where you can change the username and password and of course the system log Also, you should know there's a help section right here. You just need to press this button whenever you don't know what something does, what doesn't. 
you can uh, change the language here and that is basically it there is also a mode button right here ok so as you can see you can uh, use the range extender as a range extender but you can also use it uh, as an access point if you if you need one okay so so that's everything you can do with the new TP-Link RE350 thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time